If you're running Facebook ads or any kind of paid advertising, targeting your ideal customer is one of the most important things when it comes to running your paid ads. If you're not getting in front of the right person that's potentially going to buy your product or become a lead, then there's no really point to doing it. So in this video, I want to show you some of the best ways that you can actually target your ideal customers inside of Facebook ads. So first things first, it all really starts at the campaign objective specifically. So most of the time, people are going to be going after a lead or a purchase. Now, making sure you actually choose that as the campaign objective is extremely important. And not only that, but for the conversion location, you've got to make sure that you're actually choosing the right conversion event. So for example, if we're doing leads, make sure that you're doing a lead. Don't do something else. Do not generate or look to generate conversions around link clicks or landing page views. The algorithm has actually gotten so good that if you send people to an amazing page that has amazing copy and it's a no brainer offer, if you're optimizing for a lead on a purchase campaign or say you're optimizing for link clicks on a lead campaign, you won't get anything but the thing that you're optimizing for. So make sure that you choose your right optimization. It all really starts there as far as the kind of lead quality and the customers that you're gonna be targeting. So in this case, let's say we were targeting leads, Awesome, and that's a great first step. From there, we're gonna go into the audience. And most of the times when you think of targeting the right people in your ads, you go to audiences first. And I'll get to this a little bit more in the video in a minute, where I talk about creatives and copy and how important that is to targeting the right person. But there is some benefit, and there is actually a lot of benefit to making sure that you're targeting the right people at the audience level. So there's a few small things that you can do. First things first, location. If you can go worldwide or throughout the United States or through certain countries, great. I would recommend, however, doing just a little bit of research and seeing where specific either wealthy areas are, um, better built up, more populous areas are, because you can target those places specifically, even if you can, let's say, target the whole of the United States, it may be worthwhile just selecting certain states, certain cities, and certain locations, and that alone can help to improve your lead quality and target your ideal audience. That's the first step. <clears throat> Next, Facebook has, um, has started to introduce this Advantage Plus audience. And it looks really great because it shares how the ad technology finds your audience. And that's great because like I just said, the algorithm is very, very smart and it can find people very, very well. But when you're testing things initially and you're trying to go after the right kind of person, Facebook at first doesn't necessarily know the right kind of person at first when you're running ads or even if you're having trouble with lead quality they may assume that they're great quality because they're opting in or they're buying but maybe they're not that's where you want to switch back to the original audience option when you have this advantage plus audience like it kind of shares here the ad technology will automatically find the audience however if we share audience suggestions it'll prioritize that but it will also search more widely so it's taking what we put in as a suggestion instead of a guideline. And that's the difference here. When you switch to the original audience option, it's no longer a suggestion. What you put in here is exactly what it targets. So for example, if we wanted to target, let's say anyone between the age of 25 and 50 and people that are interested in eBooks, it's actually going to target this, right? However, you can see here, I just dropped this in and it's applying advantage detail targeting as well. So sometimes you gotta be careful of that um, and just read up on why you should have this, why you shouldn't have it in some cases and wherever you can, try to stay away from it, especially when you start testing it first. Now, sometimes if you have to do it, like let's say Facebook goes to this, that's why I think audiences is just a very small piece of where you can actually target your ideal customer. And I'll get to that in a minute with the creative and copy. Once you mess around with your audience targeting, the next big thing is gonna be placements. So going to manual placements and making sure that you've unchecked audience network and messenger in most cases is a really good idea. I've found that whenever we target the audience network or messenger or some of those weird off placements, we just don't get the best leads. We don't get the best conversions either when it comes to running purchase campaigns. So targeting really this, these top two platforms, obviously Facebook and Instagram and the best placements. So think feed, uh, profile feed, search feed, stories, and reels. Those are really the best placements that I've seen get the best success. You can get actually some pretty good wins too on the right column, and it delivers it to great people, people that are open to buying, people that are open to, that are really good leads and in your target market. 
So that's something else that can help and do very, very well. Now, finally, what I think is actually one of the most important areas inside of your ad to make sure you're targeting your ideal audience is in the ad itself. So looking at the primary text, the headline, and the creative to make sure you're going after the right person is extremely important and not enough people do it correctly. So whether you're looking at your creative or in the headline or in the text, they can all be done in the same fashion. Um, obviously, they're going to look a little bit different on a creative versus headline versus text. But the main example I want to give, let's say we only want to target people that are business owners and we only want to target them. Well, a lot of people will think of those, um, I think, like primary attribution points. So if you're a business owner, just call out business owners. That's great, but it's almost too bland. You want to go for those more than just those surface level um, call outs and those surface level problems. You want to try to think of the deeper problems that only a business owner could be having. And that usually works very, very well to get in front of the right person. So a business owner that's successful is probably going to be having issues potentially with a few things, maybe one of them being their team. So the headline could literally be um, business owners, um, team, make me feel so down. And then you could go in with your normal copy. Now, the great thing with this is only someone that's in this situation that's having this problem is going to resonate and most likely is going to click. Sure, there's going to be some duds of just random people clicking, but in most cases, the only people that are going to slow down on this is going to be someone that's dealing with this specific problem. And you can apply the exact same thing to creatives and to the headline as well, right? Um, so you could even say something like, have a team with five or more, use this hack to get better performance, right? Now, once again, this thing is only going to be applicable to someone that's having that problem. So even if you're looking at a purchase campaign, leads, make sure you're talking to the person in the way that only they can relate to if they're having that problem or if they want that solution as well. Now, ideally, once again, it should be calling out the people that are the best fits and pushing the people away that are not great fits either. These are just some really simple ways that we've found to target your ideal audience through Facebook ads. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And if you want access to this cheat sheet here that we have, and this actually shows you all the KPIs inside of Facebook ads, what they mean and how you can influence them, check below. You can grab it for free. Um, and there's also other ways that you can grab it. So check that below. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them below. I'll see you in the next video.